Hi, um, I just wanted to go over uh, what I've been doing lately with uh, Proximity. Um, I've been working on a sequel. Um, it was originally going to be uh, like a deluxe upgrade version of the Proximity 2 that I released on the Xbox 360 and iPhone about 10 years ago now. Uh, but uh, since then, um, I decided uh, to try to go from 2D to 3D, uh, very recently actually, just in the last month or two, uh, and I uh, have been liking the way it's been going so far, just uh, trying to get some of the animations for the, the game in place, and thought I would like to, to show them off here right now. Uh, the current working title is for this is Proximity ND, which stands for Next Dimension i.e. Proximity 3D. Uh, so let's just play. Uh, you'll see it jump right into the game right away with uh, the tiles here you're seeing coming in on the screen. And it shows 3D right away. You can see them rotate. And then this comes in from the side and this from the bottom, the player hand tiles. Uh, and uh, so I've got a few animations going on here. Uh, one, for example, is just kind of showing off my I wrote like an animation engine that is very similar to how uh, the sprite kit works on Apple. I basically just looked at the structure and I've been so used to using that for creating animations on the mobile side that I I kind of use the same type of system on this end. So in part also to make my uh, future ports from those uh, from the mobile easier anyway uh, so one example of this is to show how I could do rotations um, first in the X and around the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis and then kind of all three at once like combining them together and I can create a, a nice long sequence um, because of that if you look at the player hand tiles here at the bottom I'll go ahead and um, press some keys to show that off so boop, 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 boop. Look at that. Bend forward, bend to the side, and they go forward like that. All three at once. Nice. Um, and so you can see that while these tiles look very flat, um, and I just I could have made it so they, they the screen doesn't look so 2D uh, when it's not in um, a rotated form. Uh, but I decided against that. Uh, or I decided to make it um, a, a flat orthogonal perspective um, because there's some weird angles going on um, and it made it difficult to like read the board at a glance, which is one of the nice things about the 2D aspect of it. But at the same time, it makes it more difficult to see that, hey, it's in 3D, so I'm trying to do more animations that are uh, that reflect the 3D aspect of things. Um, so I'll go ahead and show over here on the right side what I've been working on for the scores. This might not be the final way it's it works, but uh, um, this is just like pretending that I'm adding scores to uh, that corner over there um, every time I press a key, and then how it will adjust with the rankings. Um, you see the actual numbers go rotate in and out um, as they change values, and then you see them all shift around as they change rankings. Uh, currently, there's some weird clipping going on as uh, you know they cross in front of each other, and um, <coughs> excuse me. At times, the the layering doesn't quite make sense. And it's part because I'm not actually moving these in 3D space exactly. I, I am changing their. It's called the Z position for like determine what order it draws in front of, but um, it's not actual doesn't correspond exactly with actual uh, distance um, because I'm using the orthogonal perspective. Uh, so I, I'm not really like moving it in 3D space when you're seeing these get bigger and smaller. Um, I am increasing and shrinking their scale uh, to make it appear like they're you know coming to closer to you and then going further in the distance. Um, so yeah, so that's how that works. Um, uh, that's most of what I got so far. I, I will show that I, I do have some uh, working of placing the tiles, although I don't really have 
animation proper animations for them yet. You can see right here, um, it's just finding an uh, empty tile and putting the next colors uh, a random tile from the next colors player on it. But you, as you can see, it doesn't even work as normal proximity. Proximity whenever you place a tile, it takes a look at um, the surrounding neighbors and will capture to its side anything that's got a lower number. Uh, but currently, it doesn't do that. It's that's something I've been starting to work on, but I'm not quite to that point yet. Um, when I have them, but when I do flipping, then that's be another opportunity to show the nice 3D rotation of the flipping. Um, and yeah, it's, it should hopefully look a lot smoother than it I was doing with, with 2D. And it should be a little bit easier to handle the animations as well. Um, it, in, when I was working on it in 2D, it was like I had to redo the textures anytime I, I got something wrong. Um, got the like positioning or something like this wrong. It's, it's been a lot smoother working with the, the actual 3D models here. Uh, once I got over the initial hurdle of figuring out how to uh, get 3D modeling working in Blender and um, things like that. So <clears throat> yeah, so this was just a quick uh, update showing what, I'm, what I've been working towards uh, once I get to the point of having all this uh, the main game loop working, then I'll start working on uh, like the menu systems and options and getting maps in here and uh, game settings and maybe eventually uh, some sort of single player mode. I, I was trying to work on that with uh, the 2D proximity, but I was having some difficulty with that. Also, like next, I have to do like 3D text and things like that. I've got the, I've got it with the numbers, but just barely. It's just only nine text models or nine number models here, so it doesn't really count. And all these numbers are baked into the actual tile, which is why you can see them stick out nicely when they when it rotates like this. Um, a little edge right there. Whereas on over here, it's not really doing that. In fact, it, you see the rotation. These don't really rotate the same aligned with the, the tile like these do down here. Um, I may eventually figure out how to do, how to fix that, but at least right now I, I, I haven't figured that out. So um, even though they're, they're matching uh, how this is rotating, they're rotating on an individual uh, number level as opposed to as all one big group so that it, it's, it doesn't look like it adheres to the face of the tile like it does with these. Anyway, so that's kind of what I'm working on and um, I hope this looks interesting to people who are fans of proximity and I hope I eventually get to the point where I can get this out there and released. Uh, one other benefit that of me working this way uh, that you may or may not have noticed is this is a lot bigger of a map um, and will support six players total um, as opposed to four max before. Um, the amount of tiles that this this screen can support now, with, and I might be able to adjust it later too, it's just, you know, tricking and, and increasing the size, but currently this is, this is about double the amount of tiles that were in um, the previous proximity, uh, proximity two. So yeah, it, it, the games could last longer. Um, there's potentially opportunities for different modes that I didn't really think of because I wasn't really thinking in 3D, uh, and more of a 3D mindset before. Um, I'm considering adding a couple modes like you place a tile and you remove a tile, uh, an empty tile, or uh, place a tile, swap a tile, stuff like that. I don't know. It, it would have been difficult to do visually, I think. Um, whereas I got, I have a little more flexibility now, now that these are in 3D. So yeah, um, so if you guys have any comments or feedback, uh, this is hopefully it won't be exactly what the final look is, but it might be kind of close. I'm relatively satisfied with this, um, especially considering this is just my own skills doing this. But if, if someone has some suggestions, I'd, I'd be happy to, to, to hear from you. Anyway, thanks for your time. Um, and, uh, um, have a good rest of your day.